tree bites, the quietness of darkness, the stories told by firelight, the long nights, the food fights, a summer made of memories at camp, camp. Sunshine, the rainy days and wet nights at Camp Candy. Good morning and happy campers It was another spectacular day at Camp Candy. The Gimme Gucci Can Can birds were kicking up their heels, the stop and go flowers were in full bloom, and the kids and I struck out for Lake Cacciatore. <laughs> Unfortunately, Lake Cacciatore struck first. Huh? Rex's new summer resort is sure making a big splash. Yeah, and it's ruining Camp Candy. Alex was right. Something had to be done, and done quickly, or there'd never be another moment's peace at Camp Candy. That's when things suddenly went from bad to worse. Future Cider Rex the Fourth the Third Toll Highway? Oh no! Rex can't put a highway here. He can if he buys the land at the public auction next week, Robin. Then we have to stop him and buy the land before he does. But how? Well, let's see. The extra camp funds are down to exactly one moth. Oh, oh, don't throw me in. I just ate lunch. I'll get a cramp. Ah! Oh, oh. Easy does it, Iggy. John, take me back to camp. I'm begging you. That's it, Iggy. We'll beg for the money to buy the land. Beg? beg. Suddenly, I thought I had two hysterical campers on my hands. Vanessa's having a heat Give stroke. Her hair. Give her a credit card. Speak to me, Vanessa. Say... How much are those diamond earrings? John, I'm talking about a high-class, high-tech kind of banking. Camp what? Candy should hold a telethon. Vanessa's Stop the Highway telethon was a great idea. But there were plans to make, talent to steal, their, their book. <laughs> it's time for that wacky show that makes you the star. Welcome to America's Dumbest Home Videos. John, no one's gonna watch our telethon when America's Dumbest Home Videos is on. That's why we need to find some professional entertainment for our show, Rick. Ooh, where is that good-for-nothing comedian? Rick Singers, what a place. It's got a lot of class. Too bad it's all low. Ha-ha! <laughs> Rex Bubala, I'm only kidding. I love you more than my family. The lounge is back here, Sonny. Hey, folks, I'm Sonny Yuckmeister, and you ain't heard funny till you heard Sonny. Uh, I'm not paying extra for a drummer. What drummer? I don't see a drummer. Do you see a drummer? Oh, I want you in on that stage now, Sonny. No can do, Rex. Me and Dummy are burned out. Know what I'm saying? Finished, fried, done, fini, true, over and out ski. We need some time off to freshen up the act. Fine. Take all the time you need, sonny boy. You're fired. Um, uh, Mr. Yuckmeister? Sorry, this chair is taken. No, that's okay. I'm not really a guest here. <laughs> no, that's okay. I'm not really a chaise lounge. Not really a chaise lounge. <laughs> 
you slave me! Stop it! But I did stop. just invent a new health food with yeast and shoe polish. Yeast and shoe polish? Yeah, for people who want to rise and shine. <laughs> I got a million of them, Bubba. <laughs> you ain't heard funny till you heard sunny. <laughs> Mr. Yuckmeister, would you MC our telethon? Ah, you don't want me, kid. I'm washed up. No one laughs at my jokes anymore. Except him. <laughs> is he going to be okay? Mr. Yuckmeister, our summer camp is trying to save the wilderness. And we need your help. You mean a real summer camp? With swimming? <laughs> Fishing? <laughs> and boating? I never got to go to summer camp as a kid. I'm not sure about this guy. He's our only hope, Alex. Sure, I'll help you out. This is gonna be great. The local cable station donated free airtime, and our Stop the Highway telethon was about to begin. Okay, John, we're ready to go on the air. Live in five. Right. Where's Sonny? Four. I thought you knew. Three. Two. Has anyone seen Sonny? You're on the air. Uh, uh, well, welcome to, um, Camp Candy. Uh, John, I'm... Er, hi. Hi, Camp John. Hi, no, I. Who am I? Hi, I'm. Hi, hi. I'd better stay on the phones. It's what I do best. Iggy, you and I will find Sonny. Um, uh, until Sonny Yuckmeister gets into makeup, I will entertain you with a favorite tune of mine. I'm kneeling. Nothing more than kneeling Begging for your pledges Ooh. Oh, whoa! Ooh. Uh, That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Keep those phone lines ringing. Mr. Yuckmeister, you've got to come and see the telethon. Later, Iggy, Bubala. I'm having too good a tie. Ah! Oh, brother. And to think it started out as a potholder. Surf's up, dudes. Why won't he come back and do the show? Because he's reliving his lost childhood. Um, so get on the ball. <laughs> Send in your pledges to stop the highway. So, Camp Candy's trying to stop my toll road, are they? I'll fix them. Hello? Hello? Three hundred? Fifty dollars? Hello? Thank Come you. Come on, please. Hello? Four hundred? Thank you. Hello? Could you pull, please? Hello? Look, you guys! We're making a fortune! Everyone loves John! We'll be right back with our Stop the Highway Telethon after a word from your cable channel. Keep those pledges coming! Ooh, this is easy. You're doing socko bafo, John. We have almost enough money pledged to buy the land. But the guys upstairs say only one TV set in the entire mountain region is tuned in to your show. At some place called, uh, what's this? Rexinger's? Rex the Forest. The third. Put me down for $150 to stop the highway. Right. Oh, gee, boss, I never saw you so happy about giving away money before. You log-headed lummox, we're calling in phony pledges. We're never gonna really send in that money. I'd like to send $700 to save the wilderness. Once we realized all the pledges were phony, we had to get Sonny on the show, or we'd never get any real viewers or any real money. Please, Mr. Yuckmeister, just do your act and... Whoa! Help! <laughs> 
cool. If I had my camera, we could video this for America's Dumbest Home Videos. That's it. This is better than America's Dumbest Home Videos. We'll let Sunny live out his lost childhood and get viewers to watch our telethon. That's exactly what the kids did. Sonny got to try things most campers never dream of, like riding a horse, bareback, backwards, and blindfolded. Whoa! He even got to see four different species of wild animals up close and personal. more personal than we cared for. And he got in a little fly fishing. Whoa, hey! Let's hear it for that fabulously funny forester, Sonny Yuckmeister! <laughs> and me, I wasn't so bad either. Hey, Bubala, you ain't heard funny till you heard Sonny. Keep those phones ringing, folks. We got a show so big that it won't fit in your portable TVs. Where does this drum keep coming from? I'm only kidding, Bubala. Yeah! That day, our version of America's Dumbest Home Videos raised enough money to save the wilderness. First you steal my comedian, then you steal my land! I'll get you for this candy! Let's play building and loan, Rex Bubbler. You get out of the building and leave me alone. And in case you're wondering what happened to Sonny Yuckmeister, he taught a comedy class for the rest of the summer at Camp Candy. Okay, kids, now show me what I taught you. Ha, 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 only kidding, Boobala. I love you more than my family. You ain't hurt funny till you hurt me. Hey, kids, you know what a tall tale is? Well, this is a not-tall-enough tale. It's about Binky being not tall enough to go solo canoeing. Or maybe it's a short story. <laughs> Howdy, Rick. You're sure tall in the saddle today. Thanks, partner. Adios. Go get him, Robin! <laughs> All right. My stretching exercises have paid off. <laughs> Iggy, put on your specs before you cause any wrecks. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> With the spec wrecking. I'm too little to do anything at this camp. Hey, you're growing fast. You'll be up the creek without a paddle in no time, just like the rest of us. I'm tired of being the littlest. Oh, it's not so bad, Binky. You get to go with me in a canoe, and I'm the master of coordination. Oh! Meanwhile, it was a nice, peaceful, ordinary day at the home of our trusty villain, Rex DeForest III. Those darling little nephews of mine are driving me absolutely crazy. My sister's gonna owe me for leaving them here for the summer. Those brats have booby-trapped everything in my lodge. <laughs> ah! Ooh. That's it! I can't stand it! I want those monsters out of here! <laughs> yeah, but who's gonna take them off your hands? You! Me? Okay, boss. Don't worry. I know just how to handle them. No more Mr. Nice Guy. They got me, boss. Good going, Chester. Take them for a spin while I finish my book. I only have 847 pages to go. Chester, I have a brilliant idea. We'll send them to camp. Camp Candy. We had received an anonymous call that two new campers were coming, and we wanted to welcome them in style. Uh! We trashed that camp. 
Any good, huh? Um, I, I'm John, the head counselor. You must be our new campers. Um, welcome to Camp Candy. I'm Jason. He's Freddy. We're gonna have fun, right? You bet. I'm Binky. Come on. Want to see my ninja tadpole action figures? Finally, Binky had someone his own age to play with. Two someones to play with. And double his fun. <laughs> Isn't there a junk pile around here we can play in? I know where there's a whole bunch of junk. At the Tin Can Recital Center. All right! We can put all the cans in a humongous bag and dump them on somebody. <laughs> yep, Binky was one happy camper once Jason and Freddy arrived, and the best or worst was yet to come. Now this looks more like it. Like what? Like our home. <laughs> Here, you can be a chief, too. Wow. Thanks, Freddy. Now we're a tribe. We can have a real war party. Okay, let our rip! I'm gonna tell John. Uh, you little creep! Uh, quit it, you guys! Uh, stop it! Uh, now, Jason and Freddy, you guys may not know the rules around here, but Binky, you don't have any excuse. Sorry, John. We we're just playing. Right! I don't understand why you guys are terrorizing animals and destroying the woods when you could be doing something fun. Like what? Like, um, uh, like weaving multicolored potholders, that's what. Now, now find something peaceful to do. Peace is for babies. I have a better idea. Come on, big. Not now, Jason. I kind of like weaving multicolored potholders. I'll see you later. Ah, Vanessa, you come to the right place for wallpaper paste. Watch famous in the 11 continents for stickiest paste on the royal walls. Thank you, Bart. I bring you the paste just as soon as it's good and cooked al dente. Right after I am finished mashing potato for dinner. You'll love the wallpaper. It's about time my cabin was a little more upscale. Binky doesn't want to play. That doesn't mean he can't get in trouble. Do you have a shovel feather? Right here, Freddy. These are 79 of the nicest multicolored potholders I've ever seen. But, Banky, you've got to learn that if you hang out with the wrong people, sometimes you're going to get blamed for what they do. I've learned. But now someone's using my yellow feathers as incinerating evidence. I'm calling their parents. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm calling about Jason and Freddy. Uh-huh. Oh, uh-huh. I see. Sure. Thank you. Goodbye. Ah, uh, someone gave us the wrong number. That was Harry's House of Horrors. Harry says if they ever show up at his shop again, he's calling the police. We're never gonna tell you our real name. Never, never, never. You can't kick us out. We're paid in advance. Nah, 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 nah. 
Oh, he's right. The money order came by messenger, and I already cashed it. I think we're stuck with them. for the info, guys. No problem. Rex had better stock up on insurance because they're coming back. Left, left, left of two brattiest monsters around. Right, right, right in the middle of Rex's front porch. Binky, you know, I think you've grown. Mm-hmm. Soon you'll be tall enough to go solo canoeing. <laughs> Especially when it's Rex's family. <laughs> Look at him. 